<laughs> there goes our ride. What's going on? <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh-huh, Wes. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of Heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? What? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? Uh. What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world... No, no, no. All the worlds are gonna belong to yours truly. Cause uh, Maleficent's gonna help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that- She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? <laughs> you, so you're the ones that did it. Well, we might have had something to do with it. Heartless Squad, round up! <sighs> That's an offense to stop me off. These low ones, uh, low hearts. This is. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yenson lives here? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. Go, 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 go. Huh. He must feel so small and insignificant. Pete's a little late hey, for uh, to the party. We uh, <laughs> we already defeated Mephiston. I never expected to run into Pete here. To think he's not just missing or oh, messing around in our world, oh, but here too. Pete is not so much of a genius, and he doesn't, uh, he's not very powerful, and he's not gonna be any more powerful. Something like that. The heart is... Oh, I'm loving this game. Bring on the combat. Satin of
Can I change targets? No, I can't. I'm stuck. Unable to switch targets. Finally, something I step ahead. Yeah, combo. Oh, these amazing finishes. Exactly. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean... we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Huh? Okay. Chosen wielder of the Keyblade. You are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Valuable knowledge I don't care about. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Actually... But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, 
that it means... is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. Cloud. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. Mm, not but no there one, are I others, see. some larger, <laughs> some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of Dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. What is the riddle? Can you tell? Then I guess we better go find the king first. But where could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora! You sure are growing fast! Uh, I guess... <laughs> Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah! Huh. Yeah. 
Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Huh. They're gonna make sure to give Sora... something with his style. Oh, that will never do. <laughs> oh, now, now, dears. Relax, okay? Your testing is on the human like body. But don't you like this better? Oh, wait. There's no such thing as one in this game. Hold on. Because there's no mention Are you it. certain? Blue. It's uncomfortable. Ah. Uh, would you just decide? Oh. <gasps> Well, oh. <laughs> all right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Ha, huh. where's the green? Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. Whoa, his clothes look so much better. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa. And whoa! Wow! Two keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. Ha, that's what I like. <sighs> the garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. I'm fine! Uh <laughs> Yeah. It's dry. It's a dollar nice. for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. Check this out. Okay. Revert. And then it just takes all of the drive away. Some different stuff. Huh. Huh? Sora? I think you dropped something. It must be a falling and out of your pocket. What is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, well, well we don't know well, anything about that. But if you found out it, it and uh, it in your pocket. It must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should hold on to it. Uh, to any other pieces you come across on your journey. I'll make sure to note them in my journal. Yeah, all that's great, huh? Yeah, okay, and in, G in Jiminy's journal. But where did it come from? It's an absolute mystery, even to this day. It wasn't in the original game. Just the remixes. Hey! It's the dummy ship!
So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts mm. are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How gets that far? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lutzen! We sure do appreciate the help. My goodness, what's that? Huh. Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Maleva! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Making our stock our quay. <laughs> Goodness oh, no. Oh, well, this is ever shall we oh. Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. <laughs> oh, boy. Howdy, Sora. How you doing? Huh? It's your favorite gummy engineers here, ready for duty, Chip. This time, voice actor. And Dale! Happy flying! <sighs> only one? There can only be one. That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Yeah, Hollow Bastion's right underneath it too, can't you see? Hollow Bastion, we shall go. 